Hey guys, it's hot here in Chicago, really hot. It's been in the 90s all this week, and apparently it's only going to get hotter. We may even hit 100 degrees next week. So I've been holding off on starting any new major projects, because my little converted bedroom slash workshop is not air conditioned. The rest of my place has been not this particular room, and it gets a little toasty in here. Um, but I have been keeping myself busy with a few little things, like I did get the service manual for this leader test pattern generator I showed in a previous video, and I started testing it out, and while doing so, a couple more capacitors popped on me. So I decided I better recap the whole thing, and I ordered a whole bunch up, and there's about 85 of them in total to recap. So uh, when it cools off a little bit, I'll get around to that. But uh, I do have one little project I thought I'd tackle tonight. This is a, um, an ICO 315 signal generator. I picked this up a few months ago and put it on the shelf and just kind of forgot about it. But uh, I think it's, it's time to take a, look, a closer look at it. I have powered it up and used it briefly, and I can tell that there's something wrong with it. Uh, as I rotated the dial at, at certain points, it stopped uh, putting out any signal at all. I do have the schematic and it looks pretty simple. It was only four tubes and a handful of capacitors. So what I thought I'd do tonight is pop this guy open, test those four tubes, and uh, do a recap and see if it works any better. It's a fairly simple circuit, but this is known as being fairly reliable and, I, and, uh, and accurate, and I think you'll see why when I open this up. Okay, here's the insides of this RF generator. And as I think you can see right away, it's quite well constructed. All the circuitry is actually contained inside of this box, which is a, a steel box that's copper plated around all sides. So it's a complete, uh, completely shielded box. Another key to this is this guy. What this is, is a voltage reg regulator tube. So here we have the power transformer, a 6x5 rectifier, and then this VT139 gas regulator tube. There's a uh, noble gas in here like argon or neon, and that um, forms a gas discharge when this set's running, which uh, regulates the voltage. Uh, similar to the way a Zener diode works, but this is in the vacuum tube world uh, long before semiconductors were around. And then here's the um, high frequency oscillator 6x4 tube, and then a 6SL7 dual triode, which serves as both an output amplifier and an audio frequency AM modulator. Here's the variable capacitor for the uh, for all modifying the frequency. Another nice thing on this is as a vernier drive. So as I turn this dial here. One rotation of this is just a small movement on the needle, so it's easy to tune in on an accurate uh, frequency. Uh, so, all right, I'll uh, pop these tubes out and test them, and then let's take a look and see what's up inside this box. Okay, here's that voltage regulator tube in my tester, and as I think you can see when I turn this on, it glows a very cool purple color. And that uh, noble gas uh, conducting like that is what performs the voltage regulation effect. So this tube is certainly good. And now I check the others. All the tubes tested good. Now I've gone ahead and cracked open that copper plated chassis to see what's going on inside. There's these switchable coils up top there, which control the ranges. This generator can do from 75 kilohertz up to 150 uh, megahertz. So the larger coils would be for the lower frequencies and so on. That's controlled by the uh, hand switch up front here. And these trimmer capacitors are to fine tune it so the dial's accurate. So when you dial in like 50 megahertz on the dial, that's what you're actually getting out. I'll uh, worry about calibrating it after I've recapped. Uh, speaking of which, as you can see, these are the old original capacitors in here. 
So we've got the electrolytic inside the can here. I think it's a, uh, a two section, dual 10 microfarad at 450 volts. I've got plenty of those on hand. And then one, two, three, four paper caps. And uh, oh, one more, one more hiding up there. So uh, one, two, three, so five all together, not too bad. All right, I'll dig up some replacements and uh, get to it. Okay, I finished the basic recap and I've got this generator fired up. And what I'm doing now is, a, uh, is an old trick to test it, which is to take the output and lay it near an AM receiver and then tune the AM receiver to a dead spot, in other words not on a strong station like about 600 AM here and then do the same on the RF generator and the radio should pick up the output of this so I've got this on the C band at just about 600 and I've got the internal modulation turned off meaning it's just an RF signal at 600 kilohertz no AM or FM modulation or anything and I'll turn the radio up now as I rock this dial, you'll hear a whistling. And in between the whistles is a dead spot. That, right about there, that's when they're dead on. Because what you're hearing when I'm off a little bit is the difference between the two. So when they're dead on, and as you can see this dial is pretty damn accurate because I'm right on 600 and so is the radio. An even more accurate way is to get a digital AM receiver. I'll probably pull one out later and give it a try, but so far this is looking pretty good. This generator also has a feature where it has an internal audio modulator. And if I turn that on, it's a little bit faint, but I think you can hear it's in a 400 hertz tone that's superimposed on that signal. Yeah. So it's off now. Now it's on. So, anyways, that's a that's a simple old school way to test a uh, function generator. For the higher frequencies, uh, you'll need to use a frequency counter or uh, something along those lines. But uh, yeah, so far this is looking pretty good. I still have to I still have to uh, check the resistors, and I will check this against an actual frequency counter. But I'll see that for tomorrow, because like I said, it's really hot in here. <laughs> so that is all for tonight.